Hey, what's up? It's Pizza Loving Nerd here. So, uh, today I'm doing Ubuntu Kylan, <laughs> a review of it. So, yeah. Now, uh, let's start with the interface. So, um, I don't need Neil Fetch because Kylan has a built in assistant that has her specs stuff. Um, so if we go to Sys Info, it has its own desktop called UKI. UK UI. Pretty funny how it's UK UI, even though it's, even though, you know, it's, it's, uh, from, Ch it's for China, not for British users. No, I know it stands for Ubuntu Kylin UI. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, the way I describe this UI is a merge between, I'd say it's the looks of Windows 10 with the interface of Windows 7. So, like, this is Windows 7, this is Windows 7, but, um, the looks are from Windows 10. So, like, this has Windows 10 borders, and, uh, I think by default it uses, the taskbar is Windows 10 colored, black. So, um, what, one second. Um, can I refresh? Um, I think it's black by default, uh, I think. Let me just check my fast look because I can't remember now. <laughs> um, but it should show it in the fast look, I think. Um, hold on. This one's it. Yeah, it's black by default. So, so that's. What, but then the icon theme is like Linux Mint sort of. Um, reminds me of the Linux Mint icon theme. So it's like it's, I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to rip off. Get it? Rip off because Chinese. It's from China. Never mind. Um, <laughs> I don't get what they're trying to rip off. Um, Windows 10, Windows 7, or the Linux Mint icons. Um, now the Kaiwin Assistant is nice, and I sort of wish this would come to normal Ubuntu. This is really nice. I like this, but I for the most and you can even customize it. This through uh, through, you know can even customize this. It's kind of broken, but yeah, this is, I don't think it's supposed to look like that. Um, but still, it's pretty nice. Um, I wish normal Ubuntu would get something like that. Now, the Ubuntu Kylin Software Center is garbage. I don't know what this is, but sort of like how in Deepin, or by default uses the Chinese, um, Chinese UI. Um, this is similar, Chinese region, I mean, for the software. This is similar, however, you cannot change it to American. Not only that, but also, um, also, uh, you can't, um, I noticed that you can't really get the language to be correct either, so it has a bunch of Chinese text everywhere. So, yeah. Now this tool is pretty nice. It's um, it's a tool for switching to Windows. So instead of IE, you would use Chromium. Instead of 360 browser, I think what that's called, you'd use Firefox. So it's basically tools for converting to Windows. Instead of Photoshop, you use GIMP. So for instead of VirtualBox, you'd use VirtualBox. <laughs> This is another thing that should be implemented into the GNOME Software Center to help people convert from Linux to Windows. This is a nice feature. What I don't like, however, is just the fact that everything is in Chinese, and you, c as far as I know, you cannot switch it to English. And this will be a common theme with this distro. Now, this distro also has a weather thing right here. Once again, it's only in Chinese, and... Um, can't switch it to English, um, and also Seattle doesn't show up, because I think it's Chinese cities only, but if I do Shenzhen, alright, Shenzhen doesn't show up either, but you probably need Chinese characters, so, uh, um, how do we say Shenzhen in Chinese? I'm just gonna copy and paste it. Mm -hmm. Here we go. One second. Let me just do this. 
Um, I think this this is Shenzhen, for example. Yeah. So you have to implement this. Only works on on Chinese. You have to know Chinese to use this, pretty much. Now the other thing. This does not let you customize your time zone. It's actually like let me check the time. It's actually 4.45 for me right now, but this says it's 1.46, not 45 anymore, but 46, which means this is three hours behind. So, yeah, you can change it through the system settings. Um, you have to know how to do that. The installer by default doesn't do that, so let me find America and then Pacific, or Los Angeles. Hold on, just give me a second. Where the heck is Los Angeles time? Or Pacific time? It's using cities, so. There's Anchorage. What in the world? Well, I cannot find Pacific Time for America. Hmm. I'll find it sometime in the distant future. God, this is hurting my eyes. It's before Great Britain. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll use... Is there Vancouver? Doesn't look like there's Vancouver. Yeah, I cannot find um, Pacific Time. I don't know why. Um, which means that I can't really use um, I can't really use my t my time zone on this since for whatever reason Pacific Pacific Time in the U.S. isn't there. That is really bizarre. Um, what about is there a new New York time, I think. It's New York. It has Phoenix. Um, anyways, now I find my time zone. Crescent City, that might be... Yeah, now it is. That's weird. Why would they use Crescent City? No one lives there. Instead of, uh... Instead of... Instead of, uh, Seattle or Los Angeles or Portland. Or Pacific. It has Juno and Anchorage, Alaska. Interesting. Um, anyways, so now that I finally got my time right, um, that sorry about that. Uh, let's get more into the review. So I noticed it uses um, it's app choice. It uses WPS Office instead of Library Office, which is very similar to Microsoft Word. So um, it's the closest thing, and it's also made in China. So good for Chinese people. It also has WeChat. Um, I wanted to try that, but you need an account, so not good for me, but good for Chinese people. This distro is, in my opinion, is only good for Chinese people. Not Japanese, not any other Asian culture, just Chinese people. Let, let me explain. So, even though I have my local, locales, however you say, locals, loc I don't know, language set to English, there's still areas, like in the weather app, where it's set to Chinese. If I open up Firefox, the default homepage is some site for Chinese people in China. So if you're China or Taiwan, this makes sense. But so far, I don't, I don't really get this. Not even Hong Kong, unless you can fully speak Chinese. If even if you live in China, but you only know English, you have to know some Chinese to use this distro. I love how this claims to have language support, but, uh, when you can, when you cannot, uh, when you cannot, uh, switch this, the weather app, a built-in stock app to Chinese, you have a problem, but, yeah, um, but I do like the Kaiwen Assistant, so, basically, this, if you're in China, you want to switch to Linux, this could be a good start. This is a nice distro, it's lightweight, it's good. 
But you have to be able to speak Chinese to use this distro, and I cannot stress that enough. Um, this this is good if you live in China, period. But you have to you have to um, know how to read Chinese to use this. So that's that's my problem with this distro. Um, I could I I actually might recommend this if it had better support for English, but if language support is the one thing that is draw keeping this distro back from me recommending it. It's a great distro. It's just the time zones are all messed up, and uh, you have to you have to be speaking Chinese in order to use this distro. And also, some of the workspaces are messed up. So if you like workspaces, I wouldn't recommend it because uh, um, it's like blacks out the screen um, for a second and then switches. So yeah, that's my review on Ubuntu Kaiwen. Thank you for watching this video. I'm gonna update. Up, update, upload this, and then switch to Ubuntu Mate. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.